Thank you. Thank you.
pandemic since uh, COVID. And I'm just excited uh, to be here today and to honor to honor our uh, individuals in the Hispanic uh, community who have dedicated their lives and their careers on, on giving back. I want to I want to congratulate all the uh, honorees that are going to come in after us today. I want to also give a big shout out to uh, to our deputy speaker Diana Ayala for following our platform. Okay, mira aquí a todos.
organization was founded 52 years ago by our founder, Gina Ramirez. Unfortunately, yes.
Bronx District 18. Um, and I'm really, really excited to be here, not only as Speaker Adrian Adams mentioned, as this is the first uh, chamber event that we're bringing back to City Hall, but also as a newly elected city council member, this is my first chamber event. Um, so I'm very, very, very excited.
dedicate this award to some of my favorite monkeys. <laughs> one who brought me into this world, got me some of my and now protects me from all the love.
Yesterday, I spent the first few minutes listening to the arrogant testimony of the grossly overpaid president of the recently privatized electric company, Puerto Rico. This morning, the lies of a separate parasite were aimed at an entertainer, Bad Bunny, who has been elevating the consciousness of what he was throughout the world. And as vile as these conditions are, it's imperative that we concentrate our efforts right now on a few things when it comes to Puerto Rico. So for those who dine into a dense almost, especially in a few weeks, if assisting the people of Puerto Rico with cheap energy democracy and energy security is not on the top of your agenda, please take note. We need to cancel that new law contract yesterday. Yeah. That act can be used for less time for the federal estate, much less than most of the people, and people are dying for a lack of electricity and a lack of power and water. We need to demand that billions in FEMA and government aid be spent on securing solar energy at the point of consumption. Solar studies show that all of Puerto Rico can be powered by the sun. There's no reason why. Storm. And we need to elevate the work of the frontline organizations and groups like Casa Pueblo and Queremos Sol, the coalition that's come together to support these aims. Because no power back, back in the Maria, and no power now has led to too many deaths, unneedless deaths. Needless deaths. They say that something like 40,000 people in Puerto Rico depend on energy for their life saving equipment, whether it be dialysis equipment respiratory equipment, that's 40,000 people that are at risk of dying if they don't have electricity in their homes. We also need to repeal the Jones Act and abolish the Home Act. I'm going to just briefly unveil the flag that was raised on the fifth anniversary of Casa Pueblo, of uh, Maria's fifth anniversary of Maria here in Puerto Rico. And I'd love for everyone here to take it, take a photo with it, and sit around and Instagram it and on your social media because this flag truly represents a new future for Puerto Rico, free from fossil fuels and free from, uh, and free from any kind of dependency because we depend on the sun to power our future. So please take note of this flag. Please hold it up for every member of the council that's here to also take a picture of this flag. Thank you, Speaker Adams, for allowing us to express 
express our culture, our wishes, our tenacity as a people. Our deputy speaker, Diana Ayala, Rafael Salamanca, Amanda Farias, Jose Feliz, Alexa Aviles, and so many more Latinx, Latinos, Hispanos who share this space and this house with us. I am one of six, seven, six Dominican council members. Puerto Rico 
spirituality and theater, and they're probably blood fighters from the Latin beat that tells the story of this historic union of black and Puerto Rican musicians. So they, our actors cannot be here today because they're just warming up, getting ready for the opening night, which is happening soon. But we couldn't say no to Diana, to everyone here. We had to come by and say presente. So we're going to share with you one of the pieces that those black Puerto Rican musicians and black musicians made famous back then, the arrangements by Desmar Guevara. If you're interested in coming to see us supporting the work and the history that brought these two nations together, please come over to the Puerto Rican Traveling Theater. So what we did is that we invited all the musicians from our company to join us and to do trip by tribute with one of the pieces. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. My name is Jorge Merced, Associate Artistic Director of Pregores Puerto Rican Traveling Theater. And on behalf of our entire family, Felicidades por esta gran oportunidad, and I hope you enjoy this one piece from our production that opens tonight, Harlem Confiders on the Latin Beat. Thank you. Today we also celebrate the incredible accomplishments of the Hispanic community. 
single day as a cab driver so that I and my siblings could be better off. And we also bring to life stories like the stories of my mother who also came to the Dominican Republic 40 years ago without a penny. And she worked every single day as a home attendant so that her children would be better off. And here we are today, the next generation. Thank you so much.